Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome back to Man vs Film. This is going to be a movie review for Krisha. This is the first movie directed by Trey Edward Schultz and I am absolutely positive it's not going to be last. The guy has definitely got the gift of cinema within him. Krisha stars Krisha Fairchild as the titular character and she is a 60 year old woman who is kind of returning back to the fold of her family after 10 years away from them. She has been away because of some personal issues the movie doesn't get into it at the start and it's Thanksgiving, they're having a family gathering and she kind of returns to the fold. And it's quite clear that when she returns to this family there is some very definite and tangible history behind these people. The movie opens up with this really ominous shot, a close-up of Krisha's face as she kind of winces and has a trembling lip but it is overcast with this really ominous horror centric mu music and it kind of leads you into thinking that this is going to be a horror movie of which it is of sorts but not in the way I was expecting. The story unfolds as Krisha starts to bed in with her family once more trying to reconnect with certain people, her son, her sister, her family and things don't go entirely as planned. Now it is it's got moments of comedy within this, it's got moments of drama, it has some moments that are just shocking and it has some moments that are very true. Krisha is a character study of one person and it's a very good one at that. It's a movie that was made on a very small budget and doesn't really have a script when it started. It kind of put a lot of things together throughout the film making, you know, from uh, doing it on set and then in the editing. Krisha Fairchild and Trey Edward Schultz should really get all the plaudits in the world for creating something out of almost nothing. It is terrific. Now the direction of this movie is very apparent and it's very easy to see this guy is steeped in cinema. Very rarely have I seen a debut movie where the direction is so tremendously astute. It uses lots of angles, techniques, choices, the way they frame the shots, the way he moves the camera around, it is terrific and if for that fact alone you have to see Krisha. If you like movies, if you like the idea of people just breaking onto the scene and doing things as if they've been a seasoned pro, this is the movie that's going to show you how this is a director to watch in coming years. I can't wait to see whatever this guy does next and I am going to search it out no matter how hidden it is. This movie is a hidden gem. The filmmaking on tap here is tremendous and I wish I could articulate more as to how fantastic it is, but trust me, the, so, the, the, the short composition, the framing, the way he uses the camera, almost like an ethereal presence throughout the house, how it circles certain things, how it frames conversations, is tremendous. How even the camera sometimes lies to you while telling the story. And then you have this performance by Krisha Fairchild who is absolutely breathtaking and you kind of know this character right from the get-go when she gets out her car and starts to make her way towards the house for the shenanigans to start. She is a terrific performer and I've no doubt we're going to see her in a lot more things and it's just such a heartfelt performance. It feels true. It doesn't feel that Chris is acting in this. It's just being herself and if she is, great. If she's acting, she does a tremendous job in this movie. I'm going to give Krisha 4 out of 5. Uh, plot elements kind of brought it down, some of the acting of the other people wasn't so great but for simple single mindedness of direction and for a superstar performance this movie is great. Have you seen Krisha? Let me know in the comment box below what you thought of it and I will see you next time on Man vs Film.